I am Anil Kumar. In this particular video, we will take a few examples and understand what is z-score. Here is the very first question for you. The scores on a test have a mean of 100 and standard deviation of 12. Determine z-score for 76, 100 and 106. Part B is determine raw scores corresponding to each of the following z-scores. So in part A, we have to calculate what z-scores are and in part B, we have to calculate the raw score from z-score. Let us first understand what is z-score. z-score basically, uh, you can say to understand, is number of standard deviations away from mean right so so the formula for z score is z equals to any element x for example these are elements minus the mean position divided by standard deviation right that is for sample data uh, and if you have population then x minus mu which is the mean over the standard deviation so that is the formula to be applied so in case one we are given the values of x we are also given standard deviation and mean so here we are given that the mean so we can say mean for us is 100 standard deviation s is equal to 12 and we can substitute these values here so so the z score could be calculated as x minus 100 over 12 for all these values okay now in part b we have to do reverse calculation we are given the z score so these are the z scores right so here these are the x values here these are the z scores given to us we need to find the original raw data so we'll rearrange this formula so basically since we are given standard deviation of 12 mean of 100 will cross multiply so we can rewrite this as 12 times z equals to x minus 100 or we can say x is equals to 12z plus 100 correct so you can get all these values so i hope the concept is clear apply these formulas and get the values right let's move on so let's do these calculations and uh, write down the answers you can check with your results so as i was saying the scores on the test have mean of 100 so let's say mean value x is given to us as 100 Standard deviation S is 12. Determine the raw score corresponding to each of the following Z scores. Well, this is part B. We'll do reverse calculation. So the formula is that Z score is equals to raw score minus mean over standard deviation. Since we need to find the raw score, that is to calculate this value, We'll rearrange the formula. So we'll say standard deviation times z score is equals to x minus the mean value and the raw score x will be equal to standard deviation times z score plus the average value. Perfect. So that's the formula to be applied. So let's apply this formula and calculate. So for the given score so we are given the z score so these are the z scores we need to calculate raw score x so applying this formula we can write down that standard deviation is 12 mean is 100 so 12 times 1 plus 100 correct so that gives us this value in this case it be 12 times 2 plus 100 100 is the mean and here it will be minus 
uh, since this is minus 1.5 I should have written in the brackets let me write 1.5 minus times standard deviation of 12 plus the mean right okay so let's calculate all these values and get the answers so first one is 112 this is 124 and this is uh, let's do this 100 take away 12 times 1.5 which is 82 right so that is what we get as our answers now let's do part A we did part B first anyway so in part A again the same values for mean mean is given to us as 100 standard deviation is given to us as 12 these are actually the raw scores x and we'll calculate z score right the formula is z score is equal to x minus mean over standard deviation in our case since we are given 100 so it will be x minus 100 over 12 so that's the formula right so we can now write down for the 76 x is given to us as 76 minus 100 since 76 is less than 100 we expect a negative value divide by 12 so that gives us 76 minus 100 equals to divide by 12 equals to minus 2 100 so 100 is the data it's just the mean value so it is expected to be 0 right 100 minus 100 106 so 106 minus 100 over 12 since 12 is standard deviation 6 is half the standard deviation correct so when you calculate you get 6 over 12 which is half as expected correct positive since 106 is on the right side of the mean right so what you see here is that if you have a mean of 100 and let's say standard deviation is 12 right so all the values which are let's say this is 112 that means correct so one standard deviation away one standard deviation away that means plus one this is minus uh, one standard deviation so here this value will be 112 right and if you take away 12 from here you get 88 so these values are negative that is what we learned in the first exercise okay let's continue here is a test question based on what we just now did the mean age of viewers of popular TV show is 38.3 so we are given the mean value so let me write mean x is equals to 38.3 with standard deviation of 12.71 so let's say standard deviation is 12.71 what is the z-score of a viewer aged 25 now z-score is x minus mean over standard deviation x is 25 so it is 25 minus 38.3 divided by 12.71 right this has to be negative since 25 is less than mean right so we have 25 minus 38.3 equals to divided by 12.71 that gives you in decimals a value of minus 1 point let me write down minus 1.046 okay so negative makes sense since 25 is less than 38 it's on the left side now that is our part a part b is what age range is within 1.3 standard deviations of the mean right so well the center value given to us which is the mean is 38.3 right 38.3 when we say 1.3 times standard deviation 
So we can add 1.3 times standard deviation is 12.71, 12.71 to get the higher limit, correct? So this is the higher limit. Let's say, let's calculate this limit, which is 38.3 plus 1.3 times 12.71. And that gives us 54.823, right? As far as the lower limit is concerned, that will be 38.3 minus 1.3 times 12.71, correct? So that is 38.3 minus 1.3 times 12.71. And this is equal to 21.777, right? So what we can say is, what age range is within this? So we can just round them to one decimal place. So our answer in this case of B will be from 21.8 years to 54.8 years, right? So that is the range which is within 1.3 standard deviations, correct? Right? Now, here is another question for us. We say, convert the raw data into z-score. Now, this time we are not given mean and standard deviation, okay? We have to find and then convert the raw data in z-score. Well, the formula is z-score is equals to x minus mean. Uh, so, let's say x minus mean over uh, the standard deviation. S. So the data we got one, two, three, four, five elements. So and let's calculate the mean first. So we can add them up. That is 18 plus 15 plus 26 plus 20 plus 21 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? So that gives us how much? Let's add them up. We have 18 plus 15 plus 26 plus 20 plus 21 and then 100 and 100 divided by 5 gives us 20 so basically we have 100 and we'll divide 100 by 5 we get 20 as our mean right now to find this let's arrange them in a table or form that'd be better okay so let's write down x all these elements which are uh, you may or may not arrange them in order but since they're just five let's arrange them so we have 15 and then we have 18 20 21 and 26 correct and uh, the total for this is 100 okay now we found that mean is is 20 so let's find what is x minus x bar so for 20 it is going to be 0 here it will be minus 2 minus 5 this is one more and this is this is 6 more than 20 right so that's what you get and our next column we'll do square of this x minus x bar whole square which is 25 4 0, 1, 36, right? So let's add them up. So if you add them up, you get 25 plus 4 plus 1 plus 6, uh, 36, I should, now I'll add 30, uh, plus 30 equals to 66, we get. Okay, so let me write this number as 66. Okay. Now, since this is 66, we can actually now find the the standard deviation. Now, if I treat this as a sample, you could treat this as a sample or a population. You could do either way. Okay. Uh, now, uh, let me take this as a population. So let's continue as population. So in that case, standard deviation will be 
let's write down the formula uh, and then we'll calculate z score here so let's write down standard deviation so i'm using this as as population and in that case our standard deviation will be lowercase sigma equals to square root of the formula is uh, sum of x minus x bar whole square over n so in our case it will be the total is 66 over n is 1 2 3 4 5 okay I am calculating with population I want you to calculate this so a question for you use it as sample okay and then you calculate s and then z score okay so that is the question for you to do i'll calculate with population so let's calculate this we have uh, square root 66 divided by 5 is equal to in decimals this value is 3.633 so let me write this as 3.64 okay Now we know uh, 3.64 is sigma. So now we can write down what stan, uh, z-score will be, right? So z-score will be how much? For each z-score formula is x minus x bar, which is the mean, over the standard deviation, right? So, so we can calculate for each 24. So x minus x bar is already calculated here. Negative values means those which are lower ones. We have to divide this column by standard deviation, basically, correct? So, so basically, what we are doing here is this value we we are going to pick from this column, and then divide by you understand this column right? and divide by the standard deviation that's what we are doing so z score for 15 will be minus 5 divided by 3.64 and then we have minus 2 divided by 3.64 0 divided by 3.64 1 divided by 3.64 and 6 divided by 3.64 correct so these are the z scores for us so if mean and standard deviation is not given, you can find it as we did. 5 divided by 3.64 is equal to, in decimals, uh, minus 1.37. 2 divided by 3.64 is, in decimals, minus 0 0.55. And that is, of course, 0. Then we have 1 divided by... 3.64 is equal to in decimals 0 0.27 and uh, sorry this was 0 this is 0 0.27 and 6 divided by 3.64 is equal to in decimals uh, 1.6 let's say 5 correct so so we have calculated the z score from the raw data correct to summarize the steps involved are first step is find mean second is find a standard deviation and then apply the formula which is uh, z score which is right there is x minus in our case we found population mean and divided by the standard deviation okay so let's move on here is another question for us and the question here is show that the mean and the standard deviation of the z-score of the following set of data are 0 and 1 respectively so this is a huge question very important you'll notice that most of the time the mean of z-score is 0 and standard deviation of z-score is 1 so that is very important to understand we'll try to prove it with the help of given 
data right so so remember that for z score mean and standard deviations are 0 and 1 okay so uh, we'll follow exactly the steps which we did last time so i'll take the values x values which are given to us as uh, 10 11 14 16 19 and 20 correct these are the x values so let's add them up and uh, find the mean so we have 10 plus 11 plus 14 plus 16 plus 19 plus 20 equals to 90 so we have 90 as as sum of x which is sigma x equals to 90 now from here we can find mean which is x bar which is 90 divided by 1 2 3 4 5 6 so let's do that which is 15 of course divided by 6 is equals to 15 right so we have mean of 15 so let's create the next column which is x minus x bar so 15 right so if i do 10 minus 15 you get minus 5 we get minus 4 minus 1 1 we get 4 and and 5 okay now we'll create the column for square of this which is 25 16 1 1 16 25 okay so we'll find sum of all this sum of squares so sum of squares is 25 plus 16 plus 1 plus 1 plus 16 plus 25 equals to 84. So we have this and now we can find standard deviation for this. Uh, standard deviation formula is, let's write down, standard deviation is square root of this square which is x minus x square sum right divided by the total n so in our case it is 84 divided by 6 square root okay so which is square root of 84 divided by 6 equals to square root of 14 which is let's write this to 3.74 okay so now we get our standard deviation and we can now find z score so z score will be x minus x bar which is already calculated divided by 3.74 uh, by this standard deviation right so uh, we already have this value we'll just divide by 3.74 so that is to say we have uh, let's use different thing so we have minus 5 divided by 3.74 minus 4 divided by 3.74 minus 1 divided by 3.74 1 divided by 3.74 4 divided by 3.74 and 5 divided by 3.74 let's calculate these values okay so we'll start with the first one 5 divided by 3.74 equals to in decimals well 1.34 we'll round it to so it is negative 1.34 then we have 4 divided by 3.74 equals to in decimals 1.069 negative 1.07 and 1 divided by 3.74 gives us in decimals 0 0.267 so let me write this as negative 0 0.27 now these values are positive values but the same so we can write this as 0 0.27 1.07 
1.34 correct well as you can see the z scores are there for us that is the z score correct now we have to find mean of z score so let's add them up so which is sum of z score which is zero is it okay now since a mean is equals to sum z score divided by 6 in this case which is 0 right so we have proved this part now the second part is to find the standard deviation right so to find this standard deviation we'll do square of these right so we'll do square of these so that is square of z score right we have to square divided by n and square root so 1.34 square 1.34 square uh, gives us uh, one point let's round it to eight zero 1.07 square gives us 1.14 okay and point two seven square gives us decimals 0 0.7 this is 3 so we'll just uh, those values are here also 0 0.73 0 0.14 I mean 1.14 and 1.80 so let's add them up so we have 1.8 plus 1.14 plus 0.73 plus 0.73 plus 0.14 plus I mean it was uh, uh, it was one point so I write 2.80 now plus 2.80 equals to in decimal 7.34 so this value let me write here 7.34 great uh, this 0.27 score right so I think this calculation is wrong so 0.27 square is equals to in decimals 0 0.0729 not 7 it is 0 0.07 so that value is wrong now let's add this up so let me rewrite these values 1.80 1.14 1.14 1.70 1.70 1.70 right so we'll add this up so there's a calculation mistake so let's do it again so it, it is 1.80 plus 1.14 plus 0 0.07 that was a major mistake 0 0.07 plus 1.14 plus 1.80 equals to in decimals uh, 6.02 right so that's that's what it is so from here we can find the standard deviation which is square root of this total 6.02 divided by 6 the number and that is indeed equal to 1 right 6 divided by 6 so we get standard deviation as 1 and mean as 0 for z score do you see that so so this half is all done for z score so in general remember that for z score standard deviation is always 1 and mean is 0 perfect so with that we conclude our session on z score and i hope you got good practice taking up these examples i'll provide you links with few more so that you are absolutely ready for your test Feel free to share your comments and views and if you like and subscribe that will be great. Thank you and all the best.